In recent years, the Castlevania franchise has experienced a not-so-surprising significant resurgence in popularity, largely attributed to the remarkable success of the animated series produced by Netflix back in 2017. This show has garnered widespread acclaim and introduced a substantial number of new enthusiasts to the rich and captivating world of Castlevania. The triumph of the original series was so profound that shortly after its conclusion, Netflix announced an eagerly awaited spin-off series titled Castlevania Nocturne. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that the Castlevania universe extends far beyond the confines of the animated series. It encompasses a vast and diverse array of media, including over 30 celebrated video games, various spin-offs, a comic series, a magazine, novels, an animated series, an internet radio drama, and even ventures into the world of pachinko and slot machines. At its core, Castlevania centers around the epic saga of the Belmont clan, a legendary lineage of vampire hunters whose enduring battle spans through the ages as they confront a series of terrifying vampires who threaten humanity. In response to every monster-induced dire situation, a group of valiant warriors unite to challenge the vampire's reign of terror and seek his ultimate demise. This undertaking triggers an all-encompassing conflict between the forces of good and evil, drawing in an array of powerful beings with diverse backgrounds and abilities. In this video, we will shortlist 15 such powerful characters in the entire Castlevania universe who have managed to leave an indelible mark on the franchise through the decades. So without wasting another moment, let's get right right into it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. I am Vlad Dracula Tepesh, and I have had enough! Count Dracula Vlad Tepish. The Dracula Vlad Tepish stands as the most preeminent vampire in the entire franchise, whose dominion extends far and wide, with a grand castle at his command and a legion of indomitable generals under his sway. Originally, he was known for his ruthless retribution, directing his anger solely at those who dare to oppose him. Dracula's powers are extraordinary, surpassing those of ordinary vampires by a considerable margin. He claims immunity to most conventional vampire weaknesses and demonstrates unusual self-sufficiency regarding blood consumption. Even after abstaining from blood for extended periods, he displayed the ability to overpower Alucard, forcing him into a year-long slumber. In encounters with the Belmonts of the series, Dracula consistently exhibited overwhelming strength, only meeting his end due to his own choice. Beyond his physical might, Dracula possesses extensive scientific and magical knowledge. His disillusionment with humanity was momentarily quelled by his marriage to a human woman named Lisa, who sought to use his knowledge for the betterment of humanity. Tragically, Lisa's wrongful demise at the hands of a corrupt bishop pushed Dracula beyond the brink of sanity. He declared an all-out war on humanity, prompting a final confrontation with Trevor Belmont, Saifa Belnatis, and Alucard, who ultimately thwarted his reign of terror. Although wicked forces attempted to resurrect Dracula, his resurrection led to a peaceful life alongside Lisa, abandoning his war against humanity. Death. Referred to as the Grim Reaper, Death is a prominent antagonist within Konami's Castlevania series. Born from the chaos and manifestation of human malevolence, Death serves as Count Dracula's second-in-command. This timeless entity has existed since the dawn of existence itself. Throughout the series, Death assumes various forms, notably Varney and the Alchemist, as he pursues a singular objective shared by many, which is the revival of the Vampire King. During the fourth season of the Castlevania series, Death emerges as the over arching villain, manipulating multiple individuals in his relentless pursuit of his goal. Death's power is nothing short of extraordinary, though he reserves his true might until the climatic showdown with Trevor. In this final battle, he exhibits his immense strength by casually propelling the skilled monster hunter through the air with his bare hands. His capabilities extend to cleanly slicing through massive structures, and he proves nearly impervious to most forms of harm. While Death plays a substantial role in Dracula's organization, there are occasions when others take the lead in Dracula's resurrection such as Shaft, Elizabeth Bartley, or Carmilla. In his nefarious endeavors, Death maintains two close associates, Slogra and Gaiben, who report directly to him. He wields dark arts to summon the souls of the diseased and can vanquish even the mightiest of the living. As an embodiment of evil chaos, Death exhibits resilience against dark attacks, but succumbs to weapons imbued with holy properties, such as the legendary Vampire Killer. 
Julius Belmont. Julius Belmont, the last known pure blood descendant of the esteemed Belmont lineage, ushered in a new era within the Castlevania saga. In the year 1999, wielding the iconic vampire killer whip, Julius achieved a momentous feat by vanquishing Dracula, a story that predates the unfolding video game narratives. His remarkable adventures, however, revolved around a distinct chapter in his life, one marked by amnesia and an unwavering mission to thwart a malevolent cult's relentless efforts to resurrect the dreaded vampire. Lord. What set Julius apart from typical Castlevania protagonists was his age. In his 50s, he defied the archetype of youthful heroes confronting the forces of evil with wisdom and experience. Throughout his journey, he crossed paths with and formed a notable alliance with another Castlevania hero, Soma Cruz. Born in the 20th century, he inherited the Belmont legacy, becoming the first full-blooded heir since Richter Belmont. In 1999, together with his comrades, Julius orchestrated the ultimate defeat of Dracula, sealing the vampire's castle within a solar eclipse, firmly establishing his reputation as the most powerful vampire hunter of his era. Julius projected an air of learnedness, sternness, and no-nonsense demeanor. His humility shone through even during his amnesia, as he simply shrugged off inquiries about his survival deep within the castle. Arguably the most serious Belmont to have graced the series, Julius bore the weighty responsibility of being the first Belmont in two centuries to slay Dracula and confront the Dark Lord on the grandest scale the world has ever witnessed. This solemn mindset persisted even after losing his memory, and when he found himself within Dracula's castle in 2035, he remained resolute in his determination to stop Dracula and his armies from returning at any cost. His seriousness extended to his playstyle, as Julius wielded only the most potent and essential sub-weapons in his demon-hunting pursuits, leaving no room for frivolity. Alucard. Also known as Adrian Fahrenheit Tepesh, Alucard is a dampier born of the unnatural union between Dracula and a human woman, Lisa. Alucard's existence was marked by inherent contradictions, possessing the potent abilities of a vampire yet also being able to withstand the sun's rays like a regular human. Alucard's origin story is steeped in tragedy and complexity. Raised under Dracula's tutelage in the dark arts, he was groomed to be a warrior of evil. However, the compassionate influence of his mother, who was tragically executed, left an indelible mark on his moral compass. Her dying wish for him to refrain from inflicting further suffering on humanity prompted Alucard to break away from his father's malevolent army. He adopted the name Alucard, a reflection of his opposition to his father's beliefs, spelling Dracula in reverse. Initially introduced as the sleeping soldier, Alucard had fallen into a deep slumber following a confrontation with his father, Dracula. His dormant state persisted until he was discovered by Sypha and Trevor, who enlisted his aid in their quest to vanquish Dracula. From the moment of his awakening, Alucard showcased his immense strength by effortlessly overpowering both Sypha and Trevor, nearly delivering a fatal blow to the latter. His capabilities include all the inherent strengths of a vampire, coupled with exceptional swordsmanship and a keen intellect. Alucard played a pivotal role in the ultimate demise of Dracula, dealing the fatal blow to his own father to end his reign of terror. Trevor Belmont Trevor C. Belmont emerged as a pivotal figure during the 15th century within the Castlevania series. His initial introduction was in the 1989-90 game Castlevania III Dracula's Curse, where he took on the mantle of the main protagonist. Throughout the series, the Belmont clan, renowned for their supernatural abilities, lived on the fringes of society due to the fear they instilled in the populace. Trevor Belmont, however, carved his name in history by becoming the first to successfully confront and defeat Count Dracula. His presence extends beyond the video game realm, with Trevor appearing as a supporting character, alternate versions of himself in different storylines or making notable cameos. Notably in the Netflix original Castlevania series, Trevor Belmont takes center stage as the primary character. As the last scion of the excommunicated House of Belmont, he initially presents himself as a mysterious drunkard, yet as the narrative unfolds, he reclaims his identity as a highly skilled monster hunter. Trevor's physical prowess is extraordinary, he can hold his own against superhuman adversaries, despite lacking supernatural abilities of his own. Proficient with a diverse array of weapons, he wields the Morningstar Whip with exceptional skill, a weapon potent enough to bring even Dracula to his knees with a single strike. Perhaps his most remarkable achievement is his victory over death itself, which was achieved through the use of a special dagger. Carmilla. 
Carmilla is the Queen of Styria and the leader of the Council of Sisters who originally served as one of Dracula's powerful vampire generals. However, with Dracula's demise, she returned to Styria fueled by grand ambitions to expand her dominion and subjugate countless humans. Carmilla's leadership of the Council of Sisters signifies her immense power within the Castlevania universe. He possesses extraordinary strength, effortlessly overpowering indomitable adversaries like Godbrand and Abel. Her speed is equally astonishing with sparks of lightning accompanying her movement at top velocity. In a climatic showdown with Isaac, she opts to end her own life due to her unyielding pride, triggering a cataclysmic explosion that decimates many of Isaac's night creatures. Throughout her appearances in various Castlevania installments and related media, Carmilla often operates as a loyal servant to Count Dracula, whether by conspiring to revive him or awakening from her own slumber to come to his aid. Her role is notably reinterpreted in the Lords of Shadow saga. In more recent iterations, Carmilla takes the form of a colossal nude demonic maiden with a larger flying magical skull. This transformation alludes to her true nature, with the skull being the entity that previously wore the mask, reminiscent of the novel character who concealed her undead existence in society. Regardless of her form, Carmilla's boss battles consistently feature her as a floating head-like entity unleashing various projectiles from her eye sockets in menacing confrontations. Isaac. Isaac stands out as one of the most invulnerable humans in the Castlevania series, marked by a dark and compelling backstory. He initially endured the horrors of slavery, subjected to severe mistreatment until he reached a breaking point and violently ended the life of his oppressor. But his past took a fateful turn when he pledged his unwavering loyalty to Count Dracula, serving under the Vampire Lord with fierce devotion and becoming his menacing forge master. Following Dracula's demise, Isaac embarked on a relentless quest for revenge, propelled by a profound sense of duty to his fallen master. Notably, Isaac's exceptional abilities set him apart as, despite his human nature, he displayed remarkable strength in his confrontation with one of Dracula's powerful vampire generals, Godbrand, who underscored his superiority and was easily overpowered by the Devil Forge Master. In a dramatic showdown, he compelled even Carmilla, the Queen of Styria, to take her own life, highlighting his superhuman capabilities. Moreover, his unique ability as the Forge Master to transform living beings almost instantly into obedient night creatures using his ritualistic dagger significantly elevated his threat level, granting him a potent and versatile arsenal to pursue his revenge. Sypha Bilnatis Sypha Bilnatis is a recurring and significant character within the Castlevania series. Hailing from Wallachia, she is a skilled witch who, during a perilous era marked by witch trials, concealed her true identity by masquerading as a man. Her debut in the Castlevania universe occurred in the 1989-90 game Castlevania III Dracula's Curse, where she featured as one of the four protagonists. Her gender remained a well-guarded secret until the conclusion of Dracula's Curse, where her true identity was unveiled. Subsequently, she and Trevor Belmont tied the knot, not only preserving the lineage of the Belmonts, but also infusing it with a potent, magical legacy of the Bilnatis clan. In the Castlevania animated series, Sypha's character is portrayed as a scholar of exceptional intelligence. Coupled with striking magical prowess, she commands a wide array of elemental forces, harnessing the might of fire, ice, wind, and electricity with extraordinary proficiency. As arguably the series' most potent mage, she stands capable of taking on and defeating the most lethal opponents independently. Plus, Sypha plays a pivotal role within her partnership alongside Trevor and Alucard. Her combat skills are evident in her victories against various vampire generals, contributing significantly to her companions' quests. Even in a climatic battle against Dracula, she demonstrates magnificent prowess, earning the legendary vampire's special recognition for her indomitable spirit and strength. Soma Cruz Soma Cruz is a central character in the Castlevania games, particularly in Castlevania Aria of Sorrow and Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Soma's unique narrative twist is that he is the reincarnation of Dracula. His distinctive abilities in the games are manifested through souls, categorized as offensive, defensive, or tactical, which he acquires by his power of dominance. This power grants him control over and the ability to summon souls of defeated monsters, deriving from Dracula's primary ability to command creatures of the night. Soma is a versatile versatile fighter proficient with a range of weapons including swords, spears, and axes, many of which draw inspiration from mythology and folklore. He also wields a unique whip sword reminiscent of the traditional Castlevania whip tradition, albeit with a modern twist. Soma's identity as the reincarnation of Dracula adds depth to his character and storyline. Notably, his appearance bears a resemblance to Matthias Kronvist, the character from Castlevania Lament of Innocence, who ultimately becomes Dracula. This connection is evident in his clothing, notably the 
fur collar around his cloak or coat, which grants Soma an imposing and modern, lordly appearance. Additionally, Soma's relationship with his childhood friend Mina Hakuba mirrors Dracula's laws of his beloved Elizabetha, suggesting thematic parallels between the characters. In Dawn of Sorrow, a pivotal choice arises. If Soma does not equip Mina's talisman, it echoes the circumstances that drove Dracula to becoming the Dark Lord, emphasizing the struggle between their shared destinies. However, Soma's character ultimately evolves as evidenced by his desire to remain good and resist becoming the Dark Lord, showcasing his growth and divergence from Dracula's path. Richter Belmont Richter Belmont plays a central role in several Castlevania installments, with his most recent appearance as the main protagonist in the Netflix spin-off series, Castlevania Nocturne. In the games, his journey begins in an era marked by the sinister resurrection of Dracula and the abduction of his beloved Annette and their entire village by malevolent acolytes. Fueled by determination, Richter embarks on a heroic mission to rescue the villagers from the clutches of Dracula's minions. During his quest, Richter forms a crucial alliance with Maria Reddard, a distant relative of the Belmont who joins him despite her young age. Together with enigmatic Alucard, they confront the dreaded Count Dracula, ultimately leading to his demise. However, the malevolent Shaft, the mastermind behind Dracula's revival, continues to threaten Richter, manipulating him and pushing him toward darkness. In the face of this situation, Richter finds salvation through the combined efforts of Alucard and Maria, leading to the rescue of their comrade. Richter chooses to carry on the mantle of a vampire hunter, embarking on further adventures with friends and relentlessly pursuing Dracula's followers. In the new Netflix spin-off series, Richter Belmont takes center stage once again. Haunted by his mother Julia's murder at the hands of all rocks, Richter becomes a dedicated vampire hunter determined to eradicate creatures of the night. Alongside Maria Reddard and other allies, he strives to prevent the emergence of the foretold vampire messiah, Elizabeth Bathory. Richter's quest unveils his Latin magical abilities, reigniting his purpose to protect humanity and seek vengeance. This relentless pursuit of justice defines Richter's powerful vampire hunting legacy as he joins forces with Annette, Maria, and Alucard, continuing to battle the forces of darkness and ensuring the safety of humanity. Maria Renard. Maria Renard is a notable character within the Castlevania series, starting her journey at the tender age of 12 as a talented vampire huntress in the gaming lore. Hailing from a lineage connected to the Belmont clan, Maria exhibits remarkable mastery over magic skills, the summoning of animal spirits, and the control of the four celestial beasts. Throughout her appearance, Maria's personality evolves. In her youth, she radiates optimism, determination, and innocence, despite her early induction into the world of vampire hunting. But as she matures, Maria retains her resolute nature, but adopts a more courageous and fearless demeanor. Her concern for her adoptive brother Richter Belmont leads her to embark on a quest to rescue him from the clutches of darkness. Her transparent and vocal nature is evident and she is not afraid to confront danger to aid others. In Castlevania Nocturne, Maria's character takes on a different role as a young revolutionary in which, with the power to summon familiars. Her background as the daughter of the former speaker Terra and her close relationship with Richter Belmont shapes her into a natural leader with a strong sense of morality. She fights against inequality during the French Revolution, showcasing her loyalty to her compatriots and her fearlessness in the face of danger. Even after finding out that Abbot Emmanuel was indeed her father, Maria went in to warn him about his impending doom. Her naive demeanor is intact even in the series, which portrays her as a Robin Hood of of sorts in the show's premise. Simon Belmont Simon Belmont stands as a central figure in the Castlevania series, taking the lead role in over five titles. His reputation as the most distinguished vampire hunter of the Belmont lineage is well-deserved, having repeatedly thwarted Dracula and his malevolent forces. Renowned for his combat skills, Simon wields the iconic vampire killer whip, symbolizing his expertise in battle. Diverging from some of his Belmont predecessors, Simon possesses few of the magical talents associated with the Belnati's bloodline. His character embodies a more barbaric approach setting him apart from the reluctant heroes or noble knights frequently seen within his family's lineage. This demeanor may have contributed to his unparalleled success as a vampire hunter, playing a pivotal role in restoring the Belmont name. Once feared as troublemakers, the Belmonts transformed into revered protectors against the evil forces, aligning with the original vision of Leon Belmont. Simon's unwavering determination is evident throughout his relentless battles against evil. Undeterred by the rumors of Dracula's growing strength with each resurrection, he 
he repeatedly ventured alone into the vampire's castle even when severely wounded and cursed by Dracula. Sporting a wound that defied healing, Simon pressed on. In 1698, he uncovered the means to break the curse involving the collection and incineration of Dracula's remains. An unexpected twist arose with the discovery of a previously unknown sixth body part reanimating the Count. However, Simon emerged victorious once more, defeating Dracula and finally breaking free from the curse, securing the safety of Transylvania once more. Hector Hector takes center stage in Castlevania Curse of Darkness as a former general of Dracula who, after years of being a willing instrument of death, chooses to escape his dark servitude. His journey takes a tragic turn when his beloved wife is executed as a witch by his former comrade Isaac. Fueled by a desire for vengeance, Hector embarks on a quest to confront Isaac and avenge his wife's unjust death. Even Hector's background is marked by a challenging and painful childhood. Born to an alchemist, he exhibited a unique affinity with both diurnal and nocturnal animals. This supernatural connection earned him the disdain of his peers, who deemed him unnatural, casting him aside as an outcast. His mother's despair at the situation drove her to express regret at his birth, and his father, consumed by ambition, rarely acknowledged Hector's existence. Tragedy struck when animals witnessing the cruelty he endured caused a fire that led to the death of Hector's family and neighbors. With a newfound sense of liberation, the animals guided Hector to Dracula's castle, the only place where he believed he might find acceptance. Under Dracula's tutelage, Hector flourished honing his skills in devil alchemy that allowed him to create living creatures from base materials. Isaac's initial respect for Hector soon gave way to jealousy as Hector became Dracula's favorite general, even on par with death himself. In the animated series, Hector's character retains the essence of a forge master along with his associate Isaac. However, the series portrays Hector as a more reserved and introspective individual, showcasing a sense of optimism despite his dark past. Shinoa. Shinoa takes on the role of the protagonist in Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. Representing the Order of Ecclesia and their quest to confront Dracula, especially in the absence of the Belmont clan, her unique ability revolves around the absorption of glyphs, which grant her access to a vast array of magical weapons and elemental spells. While she is often depicted wielding a spectral crimson rapier, Shinoa's true power lies in her capacity to harness a wide range of weaponry granted by the absorbed glyphs. In her adventures within the games, Shinoa can simultaneously equip three glyphs, providing her with incredible flexibility in combat. These glyphs can be combined, allowing her to execute devastating combinations of spells and wield massive weapons including holy claymores, daggers, sights, lances, hammers, and swords. Plus, her spell arsenal and capacity to control a powerful elements such as wind, lightning, fire, ice, and even light and darkness. Shinoa's stoic and introverted demeanor often conceals her strong-willed and determined nature. Plagued by amnesia, her past remains a shrouded mystery and she is unable to recall her true name, childhood, or her birth family. This memory loss can make her appear emotionally distant as she struggles to express her feelings, largely due to her inability to recollect her past experiences. However, beneath her seemingly emotionless exterior, Shinoa is driven by her quest for answers, stopping at nothing to avenge Albus, defeat Dracula, and protect those she holds dear. Legion. Legion is a demonic entity that derives its name from the biblical reference to the Legion, emphasizing its nature as a conglomeration of many entities. Legion typically takes the form of a massive floating sphere composed of what appears to be artificial or reanimated corpses, all under the control of a central demonic core. The core of Legion typically presents itself as a spherical entity with menacing laser-emitting tentacles, though slight variations in appearance exist between different iterations of the game. Despite these distinctions, the central objective in battling Legion remains consistent across its appearances. Defeating Legion in the Castlevania games involves a two-step process. Players must first dislodge sections of the corpse-laden sphere to expose the demonic core beneath. Once the core is revealed, the final blow can be delivered to vanquish this grotesque entity. Legion's attack patterns evolve during the battle, starting with the simple act of dropping corpses that reanimate into wandering zombies. As more components are separated from the main body, the tentacles become increasingly dangerous as they unleash lethal laser attacks, making Legion more formidable as it becomes more vulnerable. Legion has made its sinister presence felt in several Castlevania titles including Symphony of the Night, Harmony of Dissonance, Portrait of Ruin, Aria of Sorrow, Harmony of Despair, and Curse of Darkness, where it assumes the role of a secret boss with a humanoid second form known as Nucleus.
Marvel's verdict. By now, we can unanimously agree that these 15 characters are indeed the foundation of the Castlevania franchise, with each character being more powerful than the other. With the release of the new Castlevania spin-off series on Netflix, it really remains to be seen how many other such impeccable characters leave their mark on the Castlevania franchise with their mind-blowing powers and abilities. Now that we've come to the very end of this video, what do you think of Castlevania Nocturne? Even better, have you played all the Belmont characters from the Castlevania games? Let's start a conversation in the comment box below. And as always, don't forget to leave a like if you like this video and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!